and finish my makeup. I'm about to, I wanna do that pink wig actually. I think that's what I'm gonna do. What's up you guys? So, I decided to wear my pink wig today. I don't know what we're getting into, but bubble gum popping on it. Okay, I have on my two piece from ASOS. Look like that. And then I just have on some Payless flats. Nice and chill outfit. I'm gonna put on my gray coat and probably wear this scarf because it's cold. Because I think we should do Anne Frank house for sure. Okay, let's do that. Let's just go there. And I think it's called the I feel like it's that building down there. That tall ass building. Uh -huh. Where they were saying you can see like all of Amsterdam. Oh, okay. We gotta do that. So we can do that. Look how cute that scarf is. It's poking out. I look professional. You guys cannot see my face and you will not see my face. Not because of nothing else except for I am freezing cold. I am burning cold. I'm not even freezing cold anymore, bitch. I am burning cold. But this place is beautiful. So we went ahead and took the ferry across to Holland, I guess. It said this is Holland when we came up. It still says Amsterdam right here, though. Oh, it's so pretty in there. But look what just started happening. Oh, how do you open it? Yeah. Oh, we're at the wrong door? Wow, bitch. <laughs> this is where we were supposed to be. Hmm? You can get food here too. Yeah, cool. You're gonna go see it at the top and come down and chill, eat, drink. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wow, it's so cold outside. Yeah. Do you want to go to the observation deck? Yeah, the observation deck is closed. Uh, I can, oh. no problem. I can send you to the cocktail bar. It's on the 20th floor. Then you can make pictures. That's for free. If you want to visit the observation deck tomorrow, you pay the ticket entrance price from 30 euro 50. Okay. I give you the folder. We'll leave tomorrow morning. So yeah. Yeah, but I told us that it's 24 hours. So. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I can just send you up now for free, and then you can watch only if you see the nice view. What's the difference in floor length, like from the one you told us and the actual? Office? All right, floor 20 is the close restaurant to cocktail bar. The floor 21, there is the swing over the edge and the oh, rooftop. So we can't do the swing yet. Yeah, the swing is also not possible. <laughs> okay, yeah. we'll yeah? And it's even better at night. Yes. Oh, okay. Is the cocktail place at the beach? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but only if you want to burgers. They're open? Yeah, they're open. Okay. First look upside, you like it, and then I see you in Okay. I'll give you the elevator. Okay. Thank you. 
that we're going to be doing automatic elevated D from delta is going. Okay. Like fully automatic. Outside, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. This is going to be fully automatic. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, because the difference is like a floor. Yeah, no biggie. Huh? No biggie. Yeah, it's no biggie. This is the one I was talking about where you can swing. Ooh, this shit look cool. Fancy. Uh -huh, we don't know how to do nothing. We in the future, bitch. Damn. I like this lighting, though. This is like sexy lighting. Low-key, everything in Amsterdam. This is that I'm happy I'm out the fucking ice snow lighting. <laughs> This is the perfect Snapchat video. There's a place in San Francisco just like this. Hike up. Mm -mm. That's fine. So we just got back to the hotel. I've already taken off my hair and my eyelashes. I'm extremely tired. I didn't eat a lot, but we went ahead and ate at that place where we were at. I don't even know the name. What was the name of the place that we just came back from? Butcher, right? Huh? Butcher. Butchers? Yeah, it was in the Adam something hotel. At the Adam something hotel. That's what I was looking for. I fell asleep in there, man. I can't hang, but. We're back to the hotel room. About I'm about to start sleeping now. I'm gonna wake up early so I can shower and dress and pack. But I think Helen is gonna do all of that right now. So good night. See you guys tomorrow on the way to Paris. Okie dokie. Put on your coat. This is what we have to do before we leave the house. Before we leave the hotel. Put on some huge ass for ass coats. Um ready to get out of here. Helen wants to stay. I want to stay everywhere we go. That's true. That's the problem. What time is it in the morning? 6.30. Our train leaves at 8.19. So we have to go and catch it. I have to carry Helen's bag. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you want to put your bag on top of mine? <laughs> this is our system before. So I know. I figured. Well, would you be able to carry this in your bag? Oh, like you carry your bag no, and me carry Yeah, bag. would you be able to carry that and that and this? Probably, I mean, I could. <laughs> but it would be a struggle. Struggle bunny. Have you have the backpack? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. My She's a struggle looks bunny. looks like shit. Mine looks like assholes. Perfect. No, the rosebud assholes. Oh, ew. Be careful. The rosebud She's carrying the assholes. electronic bag. Gotta be careful. Oh my god! You don't trust me. You've got to be careful. Bless you! Bless you. Wait, how do they say it? Cause in tight. Oh shit. That's Dutch. Shit. Isn't no. that Dutch? I is think. It? I think it is. I think so. Or is it German? I don't know. We might be leaving things, but that's okay. No. It's probably like the bed thing. Oh, bye bye. This was a cute hotel, to be honest. I liked it, and the customer service here was great. So if you're ever coming to um, Amsterdam, we recommend the Westcord Hotel. Not only that, we made a mess in the room yesterday, and we came back, and I don't know how the lady cleaned up around our mess. She really did. <laughs> great job. I do recommend this hotel a lot. It's convenient. The bus stop is right outside. There's a bus that's like takes you to the train station. Anywhere. It's about, yeah, it's about. Super quick, less than 10 minutes. Yeah, and then they sell you bus passes here for $8, so you can hop on a train. They have I mean, you can hop on the bus. They gave us adapters, which I have in my pocket. I'm gonna return to them. They asked us nicely to return it, so that's what I'm going to do. At first, they wanted to put us on the first floor, and I said I wanted to have some good views, so they put us on the sixth floor. They didn't even ask about it. The bus passes are probably cheaper somewhere else, though. I think I said that. We yeah. bought them for eight bucks here, because other places weren't yeah, trying to take bit. but let's see if they if they're gonna work today because it was a day bus pass we bought them last night yeah. late at night 24 hours for like one more, <laughs> one more day, day exactly day. one more bus ride now than one more day hello 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 hi um so we're leaving we're checking out 
and um, we bought a bus pass last night. I was wondering if that's going to work today. Uh, the moment you hours, use right? it, you start using it, then it's, uh, then, hours, then it's active. Yeah, but it's 24 hours though, right? Or is it one day? Because it was a day. We used it last night. We went uh -huh. to the train station. So the 24 hour starts in, in this Okay, so it's 24 so hours. The first one we can use it. So okay. It, some places, you, you know, some places. Using it last night, it should be done up until it's coming in. All right. Yeah, some cool. places a day is like that day. That right? day at 12 o'clock. So no, it's so 24 check. hours. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay. Uh, so which was the other number? Um, 623. Yeah. Everything seems to be paid for. Yeah. It's amazing. Actually, I was telling my vlog that they need to come and stay here. Look, he just asked us how beautiful it was. It was a beautiful stay. You guys gave us everything we needed, and we want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good day. At Amsterdam Central Station, the train station, they have this little a bakery at the at the front of it. And we tried some of the stuff yesterday, and then we went back today and we went crazy. We got a whole bunch of things. Helen's eating something, I'm eating something. I already had something. It's like, we got some fruits, some vegetables, some water. We got a little bit of everything. <laughs> How is it though? This one? Mm -hmm. This one's good. I got that you one got yesterday. Time, right? Yeah, I got that one yesterday. It's good. good. It has like barbecue sauce in it, and then this one has like some type of it's mustard. like that's their national food or something. This, yeah, this is different, a little different. And it actually tastes good, so I'm impressed. We haven't really eaten any real food here. Well, I don't know what you consider real food. We've been eating a lot. We ate McDonald's, we ate this, we ate that burger. Turn on one more bite of mm -hmm. And I had some, um, I had some chicken wings last night. But I was so tired, I don't know if I vlogged it. Mm, 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 mm. Those were really good. They were all hot and juicy. Mm -hmm. The chicken that they gave us yesterday? Popcorn? It was really good popcorn chicken. Well, popcorn chicken, that's what it was called. It was all juicy. <laughs> My mommy and my sister are right there. They're getting tickets. We're about to go to the Louvre. We're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower and we're gonna go to one other place. Oh, we're going to the Louvre? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we at the Metro. <gasps> the train here! I didn't think I was gonna do my makeup, but I did a 12 minute makeup challenge and this is 12 minute makeup. She timed me. It took you 12 minutes and 30 seconds. And then I did a little extras after because I was just bored, but other than that. <laughs> I mean just, like, I did it, I did it. I did the whole face in 12 and 30 seconds. I did my mommy's makeup. Mommy, get that corner. It's so cute. <laughs> my sister's right here. She's from France, so she be moving. She be walking real fast. We gotta run to keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? Where are we going? Look how cute. My ankle's out? Oh, you already know I gotta tuck that in. <laughs> you already know I gotta tuck that in. Cause that's what fucked me up last time, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you had no socks on. Yeah, she has socks on. Amsterdam, she went out with no socks the first time. And oh yeah, the first time. The like, second. Oh, sorry. We were in the Asian spot trying to go to yesterday. <laughs> oh, God, don't make me remember. <laughs> a little dramatic here, but I don't know how these motherfuckers do it. It's so cold out here. 
They are right. Why? Oh, <sighs> I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of talking during this vlog, but that's because my mouth has been covered. So I'm sorry, but I just want you guys to see the beautiful scenery that I get to see because it's so lovely. The best view is my mom and sister holding hands. They're so cute. I'm sorry. What is that? Uh, roasting on an open fire. Really? I cook mine. I just want some that is in I never tried those before. I don't think so. Huh? The Lambo. All my lipstick is off. How y'all feeling? <laughs> Feeling good, feeling great. Right outside the window here is the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Shit looks fake. Yeah, what can I drink? Um, mm. uh, refills or something? Ah, uh, can I do a Sprite? No, she was saying it's this price, not that price. Um, that's fine, it's for mom. What do you want? Let me do a Sprite, if they have something close. Mm. No, there's no Sprite. Fanta? Mm. 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 Fanta, you want Fanta? Mm. Okay. Un Fanta. Un Fanta, oui. Uh, jus de coco. Un jus de coco, oui. And what do you think of Cabernet Sauvignon? Ah, her purple from that. C'est tout pour maman. Et un Cabernet Water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you guys eating it wrong? Mm -hmm. What's the duties? Mm. Mmm. 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 Oh, you dropped your mint. <laughs> yeah, mint don't want to go in there. Oh, you eat like that? Yeah. Okay, so we got some wontons. You put some mint in there and you... Oh, you put the mint too? Just one piece though, not the whole thing. One piece like this? Mm-hmm. like that? Mm-hmm. We got these little... These are bomb. I don't even know where we are though. What's the name of the restaurant? Okay. Now, Now, Jean. 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 Mm. Oh, that's yeah, I'm still eating this egg roll. The cold finally got me, you guys. I'm feeling really sick. Well, I'm not sick actually. I don't feel sick. I don't have a headache. I don't have a runny nose. Nothing like that. I'm just having like a like a nasally cough. So I went to the pharmacy. There's literally one right down the street by my sister's house. <coughs> and I got some cough syrup. I gargled with salt water, got my bottle of water, I'm going to finish this because hydration is important. I've been drinking a lot of water though since I've been here, but yesterday I didn't drink any. Well, I drank some in the morning, but throughout the day I didn't drink any. <clears throat> I got the heater on, it's right there. So I'm like, yeah. But I don't know, one of the people who's upstairs, my mom and my sister, turned the heat off last night and I got... I think that's what got me. So I was just here, like, 
because they said heat rises and it's a lot. <clears throat> so they up there and they were like, it's really hot up here. So they turned the heat off down here and I was down here freezing. Hopefully I feel better because I don't want to be on the airplane coughing. I hate when people are on the airplane coughing and sneezing and all that. So yeah, drink my water. My sister wants to go do some things. When she comes back, then we're going to head out. So Helen went out last night, by the way. I didn't. I was tired. I just stayed in. It tastes like Tom's. If you're Nigerian, there's like this little candy that comes in an orange wrapper, I believe. And the candy itself is black and white. It could be opposite. I haven't been in Nigeria for so long. And I don't like the way that candy tastes, so I didn't eat it. But that's what the cough syrup tastes like. So I'm going to take a nap and hope this cough syrup works. Amanda. 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 Oh, you guys look so cute and fascinated. Merci. Merci. Korea, 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 Korea. You think so? Are you sure it's better? How do you know? It's like in my hand. The one in Amsterdam oh, was, on the was plate. good, but yeah. I was like struggling. Yeah. It's recording. Okay. Here, I can just vlog you talking actually if you want to say some stuff. Yeah. Let me wipe the camera. Deep, 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 deep. Is that like. Is it cracked? Okay, let's hope not. Anyways. No, I was just like messing with okay. I can't, I can't say that. Woo! You guys, okay. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm so sick. Is that gonna be a lot of vlog footage? It's too far, then I can't. Oh, I thought you was gonna walk with me so Sherm don't kill us. Oh, with the Just walk and talk. <laughs> it's not gonna be a lot of vlogging for me today because obviously my voice is dead. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't want to be reaching in my backpack and shit. I mean, I'm gonna cover my nose and my face. But um, I'm gonna try and get a little something for Helen. She says she's gonna help. So. Thank you. You're hey, welcome. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> Wanna go take a picture of Mara? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? You want a picture? Um yeah, quick pick. <laughs> this we are at Notre Dame. I don't plan on taking any pictures because I don't want to take off none of my layers. So yeah. Just gonna show you. I was here though. <laughs> you see up there? If you watch the hunchback of Notre Dame, you know what those little guys are. Ooh. 
up there. Stop right down. The highest point in Paris? I think turn this is the highest point in Paris. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Trying to go out? I'm trying to go to pussies, bitch. Pussies? Pussies. <laughs> Sex shop. Sex shop. Sex shop. <laughs> Sex a drone. Sex, 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 We're at the in-law's house. They made dinner for us. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here to see you. Good morning, you guys. So, I'm feeling a lot better today. Still sick, so... Be back at the orange machine. That shit really helped me yesterday. It helped me a lot, so... I'm about to give me a whole nother big jug. You want one? I will, but... Probably a small one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't have pastries here, right? Oh, no, it's across the street, she said. So then we're gonna go to across the street and get some pastries. What's the fan pricks? That's what we're at. Fan pricks grocery store. Now we're at the bakery. We're gonna go inside and get some. Hey. <laughs> we're coming out. Mm. We're at the um, bakery. We got bread. Croissants. I think that's what she got you. Right? That's what she got me. I think that's what she, we had. That was the first thing you ate, no? Oh no, yours is over there. See you. You coming to LA, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Mommy, get in. <coughs> Come on, health. Yeah, you can. Okay. You have well, the address, right? Then I'll send it to tomorrow. Look at this guy's outfit. You look nice. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll put it in. Oh, thank you. Bye, Tama. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, it smells good in here. And our taxi driver, fine. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> no? Oh, no? I thought she had both said right. All right, so we just got inside of our Uber. <coughs> this is a different type of Uber. It's a Ben. Really? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. a Sprinter? That's right. Yeah, pretty much. And we got all our stuff. Some of my sister's stuff because if you guys didn't know, I think I told you though. We're moving my sister back to LA as well. They're eating the croissants. I mean, they're eating the pastries. Mmm, mmm, it's delicious. 
Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the croissants here are crazy, and they don't even be hot. That's the crazy part. I wonder if they, they taste good hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're supposed to warm them up. I don't know. I'm sure. They had a basket of croissants and we walked in there and took damn near the whole basket. But, um, yeah, so I'm starting to feel a little better. Um, that's good because flight's tomorrow. What else? We did a lot. My trusty Westy Payless shoes really came in clutch for this trip because I would have been stressed even more than I already am. Now we're going to our hotel. We're gonna stay at the Quality Inn. I mean, sorry, the Quality Hotel and Suites, and hopefully it's big enough for all three of us. Chama said I should in our luggages. Yeah, exactly. Well, Chama said I should ask for a double room or two doubles, and I don't know how that works, but we'll see. We can see H&M from our hotel. Oh, we're on the top floor. Yeah, we're on the top floor. We got the hookup. Wow. And my mom ended up coming with us, but if she didn't, we would have had all of this space. Oh, to ourselves. Turn up. This is our last night, so we're going out in style. It's a nice little room. It's little. This room is huge. So this is the entryway. Excuse my outfit, very French. <laughs> I was cold, man, y'all don't understand. Y'all know what it's like, okay, to live out here, unless you do live out here, and I commend you for that, because I don't know what the hell I was thinking, <laughs> or Helen even, she didn't bring jackets. And this is one side, there's a balcony, Helen and my mom are out there right now. This is my bed, and then I think this is the bathroom. Oh. A cute little bathroom. It's a good size. You like it? We got space. We don't have to be all up in each other's shit. That's what I was worried about, to be honest. I was stressed. I be so we're on the train. We're headed to my sister's landlord's um, boat to go and drink tea. <laughs> we're gonna drink tea and eat. Pastries. I'll probably get KFC, right? Huh? KFC? Not on the boat. Did you tell her to bring it on the boat? Your sister? No. Oh, you're talking about after, right? Oh, yeah, after. Yeah, after we're gonna go get some KFC because that was our biggest goal while we're here. The chicken wings. KFC has fried chicken wings. Anyways, we're the next stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and see when we get them. Oh, it's the next day, by the way. We finished traveling. We slept all day yesterday. We had some Wendy's. But I forgot to bring my camera out because I was just like, whew, finally relieved. But today, um, we decided that we we're going to get a hotel and get our nails done and go to the mall. And then we weren't going to end our, we weren't going to end our um, trip at the airport. We're going to keep it going. We're going to turn the fuck up. Right, mamacita? Hell. Hmm? Right? Wait, what? I said we're still turning up, right? Of course. <laughs>
Yeah. We came back to my old hood. We're at the Del Amo Mall right now. Ooh, it's cold. It just started drizzling, so but that's annoying, but it's okay. We're already ready. We're about to go chill a little bit, then turn up, and hopefully we can get to a good place tonight. Mm -hmm. We got our nails done. They both look really cute. You like your nails, right? I do. It's my nail cute. lady. My nail lady don't play no games with nobody. Why? I bought some. I went to um, Charlotte, and I went to one store. Bought a few things from both places. Hi! <laughs> we went to Chick-fil-A as well after we got our nails done. And that was muy bien. Very delicious. Big, look how beautiful this mall is, you guys. My favorite mall, and that's just a little portion of it. If you've never been to the Del Lomo Fashion Center, come here. This is where I used to come to like just clear my mind. And that's what I was telling Helen. That's why I had to bring her here with me. Show her my little old hood. And all my favorite spots. She keeps saying, I wanna move here, I wanna move here. Rent in Vegas is too cheap for me to come back and live here, bro. The same amount that I'm paying out, that I was paying to live with the devil, is how much I'm paying for my own apartment. <laughs> well, not necessarily, but like, close. Close enough. Yeah, we about to go to the hotel now. I booked the hotel room for three nights. So we don't have to move our shit for a couple of days because We've been just packing and moving, packing and moving for so long. We're just tired. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of living out of a suitcase in no Ye's place. We were living out of our suitcase. And as a matter of fact, we didn't even open our bags because we knew once we opened it, it would be a mess. So we're, I was just like, let's get a hotel room and go our way. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the hotel. It's in Redondo Beach, my favorite beach. You know, right next to Torrance because that's where I live. And I used to always go to Redondo Beach also to clear my mind. So I was like, let's get a hotel over there and chill out, smoke some weed. Well, hopefully I can remember to check in with you guys. But I keep forgetting. This is my mom's favorite buffet right here. Vegas Seafood Buffet. She your favorite Instagrammer and you don't even know it. You have arrived. You don't so we're in our hotel room now. I need to take a nap, you guys. I'm so tired. I woke up very early this morning and I plan on getting turned up. And I just found this letter in my bag that my sister gave me, and it's a scratch and sniff, so I decided to scratch and sniff. Scratch and read. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and scratch and read it. I think she sent it to me for my birthday, but um, the envelope said that it was returned to sender. So she must have put it in my bag um, when I was in France. So now I'm scratching it so I can see what it says. Ah! She knows she can make me cry with a few words, my sister. I already see a little bit. Forever. It says, I'm so proud of you, Pumpkin, for your launch, your growth, and your hustle. Keep at it. You are nearly at 100K. Love you. Miss you. Kiss you. My big sis. Or your big sis. Aww. Aww. I am almost at 100K, bitch. 97K at this moment. That's true. She be watching. That's my biggest. Her. Oh, she's so sweet. So this is our hotel room anyways. Literally right by the beach. It's gonna be raining, but that's okay with yeah. us. We got two queen beds. Actually, these look like two fools, no? These don't look like queens. The one in um, London or Paris, was it a fool? Or was it a queen? Mine? Yeah. It looked like a queen. This looks smaller? Yeah. Might be two fools. Yeah, anyways. So we're in our hotel room and I need to take a nap because I woke up very early this morning and I want to turn up tonight. So now my nap has gone from an hour to 30 minutes. Big ass hoe. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Ding.
<laughs> so we are at McDonald's and we ordered some food. They gave me some cold ass food. I come back here to get my order. They're about to have, they're about to hold their customers up and all of that. And I'm okay with it. I put myself in, in park. We paid $30 for this meal that we paid for and that's what we're gonna get. The manager closed the door on us and now we're sitting here. And I'm gonna wait. And then you saw the girl trying to be cute on camera, trying to put her little deuces up. That's cute. But you have a customer behind me that made an order. <laughs> I don't know who she thought was gonna win this race. McDonald's is 24 hours, silly goose. <laughs> I'll just let your line line up. The police gonna come, I'm gonna tell them to give me my new order. So I ended up calling the police and I didn't record that part because I thought the police were gonna do something for me for some odd reason. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't. Two Hispanic police officers, both female, came and walked up to my car and told me that I needed to leave. And I was like, okay, well, I'm the one who called you. I just want my money back. And they told me I was holding up the line. And I said, I know because I want my money back or at least my food. They said, you need to move. They told me there is nothing they can do and they cannot get my money back from McDonald's because it's a private franchise and that I should take them to court for my $30. Little old me should take big old McDonald's to court because they don't want to give me my food or my money. They even told me to go back around through the drive through and try and order again or try to ask for a manager, even though I told them that the manager was in on it. But that's what they told me to do. So you're going to see in the next clip that I go around through the drive through again, but they don't serve me. And the police are still there at this time and you'll see them in the back. I do recommend that if you're in a situation like this and you are black in America, that you call the police first. Because if the McDonald's employees would have called them first, I would have been the one who got in trouble. So I made sure that I called the police and told them what was going on. So that way I didn't seem like I was the aggressor. Cause as you can see in all the clips, I wasn't, I just wanted my money back. But obviously, since I'm black, I'm trying to rob McDonald's. <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, the drive-thru right now is closed. But it says 24 hours. Yeah, but right now it's closed. Why Why is it closed right now if it says 24 hours? Uh, we had a problem. So, what problem? Yeah. Sorry about that. What problem? What's wrong? Hello? You have a car right in front of us, right? We should have us closed. There's a car right here, but they told us that they're closed. <laughs> Look how happy her stupid ass is. That's why y'all ugly. You ugly. That's why you eat here. Oh yeah, in the middle of the night. But you eat here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, buddy. <laughs> y'all close, right? I got time. I can fuck with y'all all night. Say everything you need to say. I'm not welcome at McDonald's, right? Even though I pay with legal U.S. Cash. I use U.S. cash, but I'm not welcome. Cause why? I race. Oh, I'm not milk welcome at McDonald's. Damn, the, the last food chain on the food chain. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Wait till my Let me just, I need to get this on camera. The only thing is just that I'm a blogger, so I have to get all this on camera. No, I don't even have to tell them all that. Police is here, police supposed to help. Police didn't help me at all. So you guys aren't gonna take my order or give me my money back? 
That's psychotic. You know that, right? If you two police officers, if you guys, if this happened to you, how would you feel? We don't want you here. We don't I understand, but I understand, but they have already taken my money off of my card. If I was you, I would get going. What? They have already taken the money off of my card. If they didn't, fine. Maybe let me talk to him. You know how much this camera costs? Do you need anything from us? I just want my money. That's it. They can. I understand, but corporate doesn't normally. I don't even know how that works. But the thing is, they all they have my money. If they have me arrested, that's gonna be the biggest lawsuit of the world. That's crazy. So you all, this is all on my SD card. You guys have my money and you don't want to give it back to me. Okay, arrest me. <laughs> I got arrested because McDonald's took my money and didn't want to give it back. Yeah, I'm a black lady in the United States. <laughs> give me my money back, period. You saw my receipt. It wasn't a small receipt. I didn't order off the dollar menu. <laughs> Officer, can I talk to you, please? So I know you're probably gonna say the same things that they said, but I wanna see if you could just tell them to give me my money back. My receipt is here. My food, they can tell you that they didn't give me the right order. They can tell you that. All I need is my money back. I never wanna come back here again. I don't wanna have to go through the hassles of calling um, customer service, corporate. I don't wanna have to go through all that. All I want is my money back. They don't wanna give me my food, none of that. Okay, give me my money back, right? If it was you, you would want your money back, right? I, I don't disagree with anything you're saying. We do not have the authority or the power to make it. This is a private company. They don't work But for what us. about fraud? Because, like, I just searched. I Googled it, right, for you. Uh, fraud means that they took my money without giving me what I paid for. And that's what they did. That's, that's not exactly what fraud is. Well, that's what, when I Googled it, that's what it meant. Okay, and these are all the arguments that you have. You want to serve the Business Bureau, that kind of thing. We have no authority whatsoever to make them give you either money or new food. We, we cannot make them do that. Oh my god. That's crazy. Like, it's not like I ordered like two things off the dollar menu, you know? I paid $30 here. I hear you. That sucks. You have every right to be upset and I get why you're pissed. I, I For nothing. just have no authority to make them do that. Okay, that's so why, can that's I... That's why they're, they're telling you I know it seems... But I can make a report so at least it happened. Yep. Can I do that, please? Thanks. I wish these ladies would have given me that option. It's okay, I'm talking to him now. You didn't do what you were supposed to do, I'm talking to him now. You didn't tell me. I said, can I make a, can I, can, did I make a report with you? I'm about to make a report with you now? Okay, that's what I thought. Let's write that report, please. Because you didn't do what you were supposed to do, ma'am. <laughs> Siding with your people. Here, this is your number. 
right here. It's the number 92 for today's date. These are specific to dates, okay? So All right, perfect. That, that's for your records, okay? Thank you Bye. so much. Have a good night. What food? Stupid ass bitch. Enjoy your food. So she really okay. thinks that we're about to eat the food. That's okay. what I'm saying. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. No, 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 actually, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, one more thing, officer. You heard her comment. Enjoy your food? What was that about? Why would she tell me to enjoy the food that they gave me that was wrong? It's almost as if she feels like I was gonna eat the food and order a new food. You know what I mean? That sounds bad to come out of a police officer's mouth. What's her name? B-O-D-O-Y? G-O-D-O-Y. Thank you. G-O-D-O-Y. Cause that's crazy. G-O-D-O-Y. I cannot. Oh, I cannot deal with these fucking bitches. It's the weirdo shit. I got her saying, enjoy your food on here. Yeah. You got her on it? <laughs> I got her on here saying, enjoy your food. So you think we're gonna eat your? You think we're gonna eat some food that we just said that we wouldn't, we wasn't gonna eat? It, all right. <laughs> Alright, cool. She fucked it up by saying those enjoy your food. Those three words fucked her up. Godoy, G O D O Y. That bitch got me fucked up. $30 it wasn't no cheap food. Exactly. You know? McDonald's, that's literally a restaurant. That's cheesecake, $15 to eat. <laughs> like, for real. Like, they won't give us that money back. Like, that's just stupid. Because they think that we're going to eat the food that they gave us. It tastes cold and disgusting. You have one right. job. Fast food, that's hot. That's it. That's it. Nobody asks you for nothing else. Nobody asks you for nothing. I know you need a little drama in your life, but girl, find it somewhere else. Like, just give your customers your food. Because everybody in that shit is about to get in trouble. Everybody that was working this shift is about to get in some deep shit. We got shitty ass food that we can't even eat. Now what? We, we're out $30 and nothing to show for it, you know? That's crazy. That's what happens when you're the bottom of the totem pole in America, bro. People don't think, they, people don't understand what it feels like to go through stupid shit like this. Like, and the only reason why I wasted my time to deal with this is because I literally, wasn't I telling you, Helen, I wasn't gonna let people walk all over me anymore. I was like, if people do something wrong, I'm gonna let them know that what they did was wrong. Yeah. I was just saying, like, I'm not gonna let people, you know, walk all over us anymore or walk all over me anymore. And I'm like, and now these motherfuckers did this shit, and I'm like, nah, y'all gonna give us our fucking food back. Have you ever gone to it through a situation where, hold on, wait one second, where my glasses at? Where you ordered food and the food was bad, and you were like, oh, I'm gonna call them and tell them that they didn't give me a new um, round of food or whatever. Yeah. And they just be like, all right, give me your name. They don't say, give me your food back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so why was it such a big deal? Yeah, so why was it such a big deal that they needed the food back today? Cause they saw that we were black girls. Cause literally when I said, do you want to touch it? She touched it, right? I said, is it hot? She said, no, but it's not cold. She could've just been like, I'm so sorry, this is really cold. That's it, away. that's it. That's all she could've done. Let me let me take these and throw it away and give me fresh ones. I don't know, it's just weird shit, bitch. They was on some weird shit. They was on very weird shit. This that's bitch tell me on the next big thing. Fuck that, that's this big thing, right? <laughs> I'm 
And let me tell you, if they would have called the police on us, it would have been a whole different situation. Good evening, because I haven't spoken to you guys all day today. <laughs> but we are at Baja Sharky's right now. We woke up at like four, and then we left the house at like nine. We were just chilling. But um, a, yeah, you can just put it over there. Thank you. So we got some food. I got the tri-tip. She got the enchiladas. She got a steak taco. And I got some queso dip. <clears throat> Helen just wants to go give Nonye the room key to the hotel, so. I said I wanted to show you guys how close I live to the pier, and this is it. This is the beach right here. It's not raining right now, so I figured I'd come out and show y'all. This is literally the beach. Well, not how close I live, but how close the hotel is anyways. So I'm gonna just go into the pier <clears throat> and hit that right, right here in front of this bus and show y'all what it really is. That's the beach right there, you see the water? <clears throat> this is my favorite beach it's so beautiful over here this is where I used to do a whole bunch of my photo shoots and stuff when I was real serious about this whole social media influence and stuff and things well not when I was real serious I think I'm still serious about it but I just think that now I'm not as able to be as creative because I got bills to pay and being creative takes time. YouTube don't pay, so. <laughs> I'm not able to do all the fancy shit I used to, but. Um, yeah, that's how close I lived. That's how close the hotel is to the pier. So if you guys decide to stay at Redondo Pier Inn, that's how close it is to the pier. And yes, it is worth it. The room is regular. It's a regular little schmegler room. It's all right, nothing special, nothing fancy about it, but it's very, very close to the beach. So if you guys are beach people like me, like I love the water, I just like to drive by it and look at it, all the nice buildings around it, <clears throat> stuff like that, then you will really appreciate that hotel or that inn. I'm tired. Especially if you come in the summertime because y'all already know the summers be lit over here so yeah but anyways it's the next day um what happened i just came back to the hotel and just kind of organized my stuff because i was just all over the place i was never able to organize my things since we traveled back and we the way i packed coming here was not convenient to me it was more convenient to my packing method it was like okay we need to get as much stuff inside of this luggage as we can and so i couldn't really see all the things i had so i organized my things last night and i went to sleep at like eight and my friend Noye is at the hotel room right now and helen is doing homework but Noye woke up and i couldn't sleep after that because she just every time she'll see my eyes closed she'll be like ah, bah, bah, bah. she's like you know you know, you she woke up at like eight. She was sleeping from eight o'clock when we got to the hotel room. She was sleeping, okay? So she's been sleeping since eight. She's been sleeping, let me give it, she's been sleeping since 10, okay? Let me give it that. So she slept till 10 until eight when I was there. So that's a whole 10 hours, right? And she woke up and she was like talking to me or she had to pee or something. And then she went and got back in the bed and went back to sleep. But she knew I was awake at that time, so you know that I didn't I haven't slept that that long. But you don't wake up and then just start. Mah, 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 mah. So I just had to leave. I just had to leave because I'm tired of shit right now. You could probably tell. You could probably tell it because I'm not used to being around a lot of people. Y'all know I live by myself and shit, so I'm not used to being around people. I'm used to being able to get my sleep. I only I only asked for eight hours. I went to sleep at eight. They woke me up at one. That's not even six. <laughs> you know what I mean? And at 9, they were doing a lot of talking. At 10, they woke me up, asked me if I wanted to eat something. You know what I mean? So it hasn't been a consistent even five hours. So my eyes are like half asleep, and I'm just trying to live my life. So I came to a hotel party. So we're playing Truth or Dare. I just... <laughs> Seduce one of the men in the room. Oh. Oh. 
time soon. <laughs> How do you guys notice it? Zeus. We're at the Redondo Beach Pier. We came and we ate at this place. It is called Funnel Cake. Funnel Cake. <laughs> Drip Coffee. Teriyaki Fish and Chips. Oh, it doesn't have a name, but. You see what it looks like. It's right across from El Torito. I got the combination seafood plate. Shit was banging. Then at the end, we got some deep fried Oreos. Shit was banging. <laughs> so yeah, I do recommend 10 out of 10. And now, Helen needs to go to her airport. Aww. And I'm pregnant with our food, babe. But yeah, this beach is where I used to come all the time. Y'all know if you guys have been watching me for a long time. What they doing, a little remodeling? Oh, they have a little... I didn't know they had that. They had a, a That's inside. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they had an inside, so it's literally this place. Charlie's Pie? Charlie's Place is what it's called. So, food was great. The pier is beautiful. The sun just came out and we haven't had sun our whole trip. Uh, Helen always trying to get me sick. Go, go, go get sick by yourself. They got the shrimp lover seafood place up there. Ooh, one day I need to try that out. And then you see El Torito was right up there. And then they have some gift shops and stuff. And then parking lot, the beach is right on the other side. There's another restaurant down over there. It's just a beautiful place to be. Oh, they're remodeling. I'm leaving her. Say bye to the vlog house. Oh, we gonna miss you. What we gonna see? What next are we gonna see? We're coming to Utah. Buy your ticket, baby. Oh, what day? Give me the exact date. I'm bringing that shit. March 12th. It's her graduation. That's next month. I know. You almost done, bitch. She's about to be a registered nurse. I didn't mind. All right. also at the airport right now so after I drop her I'm gonna go and get my sister well I'm go meet up with them because my mom's already here as well <laughs> my battery almost died my sister is in America I was able to convince her to come home and now she she's here look at my mommy even yeah mommy what yeah, show them. She's here. <laughs> Before she came back, we ordered some shoes. Um, hey, last time I go get, we gonna go go. Wait, where is it on Vermont? Oh yeah, it's not this one. Huh, let me see. Let me just yeah. type it in. But yeah, we got some pay less shoes, and so we gonna be matching. <laughs> we gonna be matching. Your car smells particular. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Vermont, I hear this. Tell me. Um, I had a good weekend. This hair is popping. I ain't did nothing to eat. Um, yeah, Helen just went back today. Yeah. So you yeah. continue to turn. Yeah, we're like. <sighs> so finally headed back to Vegas. It is. 521 right now, Wednesday, February 6th. Oh, back to my regular life. I just kissed my mom and my sister because they ain't awake. But I slept at 6. I've slept at 6 for the past couple of days. And actually for the past like 4 days I've been going to sleep at like 6 or 7 or 8. So 
I haven't been able to like really get my sleep schedule back, but I'm taking advantage of the energy that I do have right now early in the morning and I'm about to hit the road. It's telling me that the freeway is closed down or something like that, so I'm having two navigation times, so I got both of my phones on. If the freeway's not closed, I'm taking it, you feel me? Because I'm not trying to be on the freeway for any longer than I have to be. But, um, yeah, I'll check in when I get back home, because right now, I'm not home, and I need to be home, and I'm tired of being here. What I am afraid of, I'm not even going to put it into the universe, because, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to say that, but um, I'm just going to thug it out and hit these streets and ride through. You feel me? So, yeah, let's see what this journey entails. It's just a new journey. Let's take it like that. You play your part. Sunny Monday, let's see you know. Well, first of all, this drive has been, <laughs> to say the least, different. Okay, um, the mountains. Whoa, almost dropped my camera. There are snow on the mountains all around here, okay? So, um, if you don't know, oh man, then the battery wanna die. Okay, so anyway, sorry, my battery died. <clears throat> so first, when I first started driving, let me go back a little bit. When I was in LA, I parked my car at one of the clubs we went to. We went to a club called Savoy, and I gave Valet my car because it was raining, okay? When the car came back, the bumper was hanging off. I still haven't made, like, you know, the steps I should have made to, like, you know, file a complaint. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do, so I was just like, whatever, I'll just pop it back on. So I popped it back on, and there's this little black piece that was hanging at the bottom of the bumper. So I was like, okay, let me see how I can get this on. Literally in a little dress, in some high heel boots. I got out the car and I was trying to like fix it. My hands were all black and everything, right? Because it was making a loud ass noise as I was driving. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I got it back into place. I said, Amara could do anything. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Amara can do anything. So, you know, it didn't bother me for the rest of the weekend, but on the way. Then my SD card was full. So there was no coming back from that, but pretty much I had to drive in the snow. I had to drive two hours out the way to get away from the snow because there's this one hill on the way to Vegas that was iced out. The whole road was iced. So I had to drive all the way out and go around. I had to pull over on the freeway and pull off a piece of my bumper. I just ripped it off like, fuck you, because it was just too much going on. So yeah, that's what happened. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys. And yeah, don't forget to send a tweet or a message or call the Hawthorne Police Department because I don't believe that um, someone like Officer Godoy should be on um, duty. To be honest with you, the officer that snitched on her, I feel like he didn't like her anyways because he was so willing to help me, which is really weird. I'm from LA and I know police officers don't just want to help you for no reason. Like We don't call the police as black people in LA unless we were burglarized or unless you're snitching on another black person or someone got hurt like badly murdered or like into a huge car wreck that's when the police do something for us and the only reason why I called the police is because like I said if I didn't call the police it would have gone a whole different way so I was the one who called the police and normally when I call the police I know it's not gonna nothing's gonna happen but at least if I'm the one who called I can't get in trouble you know what I mean how am I gonna call you guys and then you guys arrest me or you guys get me in trouble so that's the reason why I did that but at the end of the day um what she said and what she did was really wrong. She didn't offer to file any um, complaints. She didn't offer to go in there and help me get my money back or get my food back. None of that. I had to ask, even the white police officer, I had to ask him if I could file a complaint. He didn't offer that either. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it had a little weird turn in the middle, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Anyways, I might take the clips out from McDonald's and make it a separate video so that way it could be shared because I don't want you guys to have to share this whole video in order to share that video. So I might take it out and just post it by itself, but I kind of didn't want a big gap in the middle of the vlog. So anyways, um, comment, rate, subscribe. I love you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.